Hey, what's up, my Mandela community? I, um, I'm going to drop another video today, and it's going to be about our children. But before I get started, I want to say thank you to um, the 100 subscribers plus that I got. Um, I don't even know where you guys came from, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Your comments help me out the most. I, I really appreciate it. And like always, I'm never going to monetize these videos. I'm not going to monetize this channel. So this is out of the kindness and the goodness of my heart that I even try to speak. But I do appreciate you people that are out there showing me the kindness and goodness in your heart. Thank you. I appreciate it. So anyway, let's get to it. Um, the children, our children. And in, in this case, some of us may be those children watching this video or experiencing it and our parents don't get it. Well, I'm not really going to make it about that this time, but I am going to be talking about my children and the children a lot of my users have under them. Um, I have an 18 year old. I've mentioned her before. She handled it. No problem. But I do have children that are 10 and under. You know, so my question is, how do we treat that? Do we treat them like the, the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny? You know, do we wait till a certain age before we break it to them? Not everything is what you thought it was. You know, I mean, that's my, that, that's my big question. You know, I mean, you know, let's face it. When something as big and powerful as the Mandela Effect is happening, there's, there's always negative, negative behind it always you know I mean things don't change the world like this and it just be for the greater good it's not for the greater good there's always ulterior motives behind everything if you want to talk about JFK and him coming to Dallas to some people that was probably the greatest day ever but who knows how far back that was set up for him to be assassinated in Dallas you know and I'm just saying if you want to look at it that way the positive we are being visited by the president the negative, they were going to kill his ass. Okay, so I'm not trying to make this video about JFK. I'm just saying. There's always ulterior motives. And with this Mandela effect, I don't think there's any different. The positive side is you need to be glad that you can see the changes. Congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. You're able to see the changes. Okay, but then here's the negative. Things like this don't just change. And when they do there's an ulterior motive and they're hiding it every time that something is hidden and they're not talking about it, believe me there's something else bigger happening in the background and th I don't think this is any different so why I'm making this video and thus my concern for what to do with our children so anyway um, back to the kids you know I um, I'm fearful for our our future even without the Mandela effect I'm still fearful I mean I don't know if any of you guys have heard about the Fukushima you know nuclear plant but that's some scary shit man that's scary you know and I mean that scares me too you know because I mean it's 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 something I can't I can't affect it in any kind of way if it's gonna ruin us it's gonna ruin us you know but again nuclear power super positive right that thing broke and it's jacking up all of us. The ulterior motive behind it, it may not really necessarily have been a motive, but there's definitely an ulterior side that's negative. I mean, maybe one of you guys can comment down there, but what, what law is that where there can't be really a negative without a positive or, you know, um, action reaction, you know, I mean, there's that, you know, theology, is that the correct word, you know, that that goes along with that and I don't think the Mandela effect is any different I think a lot of you can feel it in that same the same empathy field heart of yours you can still feel there's something wrong so on that note how do we address the kids you know do we like I said do we wait you know to a certain age you know do we how long do we keep them in the dark um, you know I, I'm afraid for our, our, our future I just am and it's what makes it what makes it more fearful for me is that I have children I have to look out for and worry about you know God forbid some big apocalyptic end I have to worry about my kids 
If it was just me, I would eat rat heads and live in trees and do whatever I needed to do to survive. But that's not what I could I can subject children to. So that's what I, that's one of my biggest concerns, you know, is how, you know, to in, to enlighten these children or do I just wait for them to be adults? You know, I, I really don't know which one to do. So anyway, um, I guess go ahead and give me your feedback on uh, what some of you guys think, you know. Um, you know, I always appreciate the comments, so please, by all means, drop a line or two. But um, but anyway, uh, one more thing that I wanted to um, let you guys know. Um, a new Mandela effect I just heard about uh, day before yesterday, I think, was uh, the song Sweet Dreams by the Arrhythmics. I don't know if uh, some of you old cats out there remember that song, but um, I remember sweet dreams are made of these. Well, apparently that's that's not what it is anymore. It's sweet dreams are made of this. I mean, come on. I don't think we're that... I don't think we're that liter literarily challenged. I don't know if that's the right word, or literally challenged. I don't, I don't know how to really say that, but... Our literacy, I don't think, is that awful for some of these things to be taking place the way the Mandela effect is saying that they are. So, but anyway, yeah, drop a comment on that one too. Um, go research it. Go look it up. I don't know. It sounds pretty off to me. So anyway, just a little bitty bitty recap. Um, how do we handle the kids? Do we even tell them at all? Just wait? you know, or, I don't know, point them in the right direction. I don't know. And what age is too young? You know, I mean, I, I just really just don't know. And of course, I haven't said anything to my younger children about it because I want to freak them, freak them out. They're just going to think dad's a lunatic. So, which they probably already think so anyway. But either way, um, leave the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And um, like always, stay strong, guys. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon.